the five biggest time challenges. It's myorganized.life, live August 27th, 2019, and we are Oops. challenged. Stepping on my yeah, microphone so cord here. You're stepping Sorry. On me. Okay. Sorry. By the way, this is myorganized.life live. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. This is the show where we give you organizing tips, advice, and challenge each other daily. Especially, but, yes. But, but time challenges. Yes. Yes. Well, and today's you know, Tuesday, so we're focusing on an article. An article. On SME.com. we've got tons of new ones because you've yes. been working. I know. We've had lovely organizers yes. submit their yes. articles and awesome. allow, them, allow us to share them. So today we're talking about an article from Linda Samuels, and it's five biggest ta time challenges and tips to overcome oh, them. Okay. So if they go to SME.com and they type in time challenges, sure. we hope they'll find I it. I hope so. Yeah, if our search function is working yeah, on our site. Yeah, thousands of articles over there. Well, that maybe hundreds. It's hundreds. It's not thousands. It's not thousands. Hundreds might be a stretch. And that might be pushing it. No, I know I there's know. at least three or four hundred, so. Okay, you know okay. what? You can find what you need at SME.com. Just type in the search yes. bar anything you want. Okay. And you'll be surprised what you find. So let's talk about some time challenges. Okay. Over scheduling. Oh, there are yeah. so many meetings, activities, and social events in addition to our regular responsibilities that you feel always like frazzled and busy. Can we blame that on other people though, like our kids? Our kids are overscheduled, therefore yeah. we're overscheduled. Well, mine aren't, yeah, but mine will be someday. Oh. Yes, I know, yours are very overscheduled. Yeah, let's see, we have an opening. My one kid wanted to get a job, and then we looked at her schedule, put everything <laughs> on a calendar, and said, okay, you have about three hours Saturday afternoon available. Do you wanna? Good luck. Good luck. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Come Colin. Yeah, okay. All right, so this will be a good time to introduce the word no. No. To your vocabulary. Very good. So that's I don't the know tip. If, uh, yeah, that's a tip. I don't know if your daughter has the option. They don't hear when you say no. Well, I mean, huh? what else? What? She can't really say anything. No, I mean, it's schoolwork that right. based schoolwork and her. We had to say no to the job because there's no oh, time. Okay, there you go. So yeah, she okay. said no to the job. Okay. Ambitious list making. Oh, boy. Okay. Massive I'm, doesn't even begin to describe the length of your list. Right. Are you overwhelmed? How do, will you accomplish everything? The tip is to adjust your expectations. Mm -hmm. As items are checked off, new ones will appear, but don't let that demotivate you. That's a good one. Or what about this idea of two lists? You have the list of things you really want to do and the list of, well, oh, might, might want to do them. And then yeah. at least you've kind of prioritized them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep, I, don't I know. do know what you mean. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see, lack of planning. Mm -hmm. If you prefer just to go with the flow and not plan and this isn't working, Consider the good enough method. Yeah. Don't plan every minute. Instead, create large time blocks in your schedule that are devoted to certain types of activities, like yeah. returning phone calls. We've, yeah. I think we've talked about this I tip before. Have theme days or theme mm -hmm. blocks, right? Yes, right. Do errands on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon yeah. after work. And Run you your errands. Just, you don't have to write every errand down that you need to do, but right. Just try to do them all in one day, yeah. maybe. And okay. sometimes I adjust like as idea. needed. And not focusing. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a huge one. We've talked about. Yes. Thousands of times. Mm -hmm. Distractions. Let me count the ways. There are children, pets, phone calls, yeah. emails, Facebook, Twitter, blip, de, 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 de. everything is a distraction. Yes. Two words. Establish boundaries. That's like when you were stepping on my foot. I at wasn't the beginning your, of it the wasn't show. your foot. It was but my microphone cord. Maybe my foot cord. is over the boundary. Yeah, I your foot like, is over this mm, nail line. See these nails? Right? Yeah. Okay. This is the invisible wall. So I will wall. just stand over here and make sure. Um, there you go. You this don't is the boundary. Step on my foot. But that's really not a distraction. Okay. Well, I guess it me. was. It distracted okay, the opening sorry. of the show. <laughs> so it's like, okay. This is anyway. my organized. Ow! Hurt! <laughs> <laughs> you stepped on my toe. I thought it was the cord. I, I whatever. Okay. Speaking anyway, of yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Turn off your distractions on your phone, your yeah. email. Again, go back to the boundary thing. Yeah. Don't okay. let those things take over. Yes. And under appreciating. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot. You're moving through the days at lightning speed. Yes. You're done and on to the next thing before pausing to acknowledge. Acknowledge what you've accomplished. Is that kind of like patting yourself on the back? Let's do it. Yeah. That'll be a good screen grab right there for the show. Okay. <laughs> Gratitude is powerful. It shifts our thoughts to a positive place. Allow yourself to slow down long enough to reflect and appreciate. Awesome. That's totally Linda. She's always about, Linda. you know, do you follow her on Instagram? She's always got calming pictures of her what on I the like, Hudson River. And yeah. What I like about her is she always like has these lists or tips or, you know, and then, but the last one's always either philosophical or very reflecting. Yes, I know. I love well, that. Join the discussion. And then she has zillions of comments on yes. her blog. Way yeah. to go, Linda. Thank you, Linda. All right. So you can find that over at SME.com. 
and typing, typing time bang, challenges. Bang, bang, bang. Yes. Type time challenges. Time challenges. And hopefully the article will I come hope so. Up. It's got a nice, pretty picture. Oh, great. Okay, okay. Well, that wraps up our Tuesday show, and we have tomorrow a brand new podcast. Yes. yes. Do Nacho. You know? Oh, it's Nacho Day. Yes, Nacho cool. Galarte or something. I, I try you, pronouncing, but I, I know, can never pronounce anybody's his name. I know, you butchered his name a bunch. I know, but uh, he is a lot of fun. He and is. He's we, a great guy. I met have, him at NAPO. Yeah, we have an organizing acronym we're going to talk about okay. tomorrow. So you cool. want to tune in for that. Uh, I and, will be gone Thursday. Okay. Because I will be at? The Minnesota State Fair. Yes. Doing live man on the street interviews with people. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I will take some video. I'll take some pictures, and then we'll talk, talk about it on Friday. Yeah. Because you're going. Yeah. I'll be tomorrow going night. Wednesday night. Yeah. Cool. So we'll do state fair. We'll, roundup. we'll swap stories and see what yeah. each of us ate. And if that doesn't work, if we get no video or no pictures that are worthy of this, then we'll show, be back for blogger roundup. We'll have blogger roundup. <laughs> so for the last one of August, but. So, oh my yeah. gosh. And this Labor Day time weekend. Is going. Oh no. Okay. Uh, well, speaking of time, it's time to go, and you come back tomorrow, mm -hmm. 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific. Myorganized.life live. <laughs>